Uh, could a computer hold this position against Magnus? You know what's funny? You know what's funny is I bet a computer I don't... I think a computer might still draw this against Magnus. I think a computer still might draw this. I, I bet a computer would somehow be able to draw. Even though Magnus is plus five, I bet a computer would save this. Okay, I'm white. What is there? Rook H4, Bishop E6, A4 is not a move. Um, Okay, let's take... Now, surely I'm winning here, right? With Queen C5 and B3. I mean, this must be winning. I have B3, A4. This has to be winning. Um, okay, I can't go here because A2 hangs. So, go here. So, I have King H2, I have Queen E5, I have Queen E7, Queen D6. Queen C6 allows Queen D4. Wait, why isn't Queen C6 just winning? Takes, takes, takes. Wait, why isn't this just winning? Here. Takes. This must be winning. Queen e2 or queen f5, queen b5. This has to be winning. Think about this. Um. Wait, no, this is just winning. I go check because I can take and then I he, he checks. I come here and then I block that. Although queen b2, is that actually easily winning? a4, queen a2. Oh, that should be winning. Um. Queen f7, king a6. Again, I'm not looking. I'm not looking. I know you guys can see it, obviously, but I'm not looking. Um. Queen f7, king h6. Queen f8, king h7. Maybe f4 takes, check, takes, takes. That's got to be right. So let's go check. I think I'm going to go check in f... Oh, but then he has queen f2. Still not easy to prove, but I think this must be winning. Let's let's go um, Let's go check. I go f4 here to close it down. Um, and now I go check. And now it should be winning, right? Oh, wait, I just blundered. No, no, wait a second. I just blundered. Wait, wait, I just blundered. Wait a second. Let me think for a second. Okay, so do I go B4 or do I go B3? Let's go. It's actually very tricky. Wait, this is not easy at all. Maybe I can check and go Queen E2. Queen E2, Queen. This is actually very hard to win. Oh, but maybe I can take B5. It takes F4. This is very hard. This should be winning, uh, but it's very, very hard. Take back. Yeah, I'm, try I'm trying. I'm trying to see if I can win this. Can G5 and F4 maybe. Okay, let's go queen g5 here. This must be right. And f4... <sighs> wait, but if I go f4 takes... Take... Wait, sorry. If I go f4, queen b2, queen e5, trade, trade, king f7, g3, king e6 takes... And that's actually a draw. Or is it a draw? <sighs> is this a draw? Wait, so f4 takes... Check, takes, takes, g5, g3, g6, takes, takes, here, 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 here. Takes, c3, g3, b3, h4, takes, h5, b4, h6, b3, h7, b2, h8, b1 is a draw. So no, it doesn't, that doesn't win. Hmm. Okay, maybe I just go for the safe draw with this. Go here and I have queen d3, which should be fine. Oh, no, but queen d3, there's still queen c1, queen f4. Oh, yeah, yeah. I go a4, queen a2, queen d1, queen b3, queen a1. Okay, let's go a4. Okay, so now I have to just find a way to activate the queen and the... Uh, I have to activate the queen. Um, We have a move on the board, by the way. Oh wait, no, sorry, we've got this endgame on the board. Wait, so let's let's just go back. We've we've got this endgame on the board, right? Wait, we have this endgame literally on the board. Okay, so okay, so we, we have this exact endgame on the board, which um yeah, let's let's go here. Okay. Well we'll leave it here because obviously we want to see the moves. Yeah, it's the exact same end same end game. Funny. Although isn't this the wrong order or am I wrong? Wait, wasn't the computer saying oh no no, sorry, I was playing what no, this is what happened, right? And computer were playing Queen A4 against me, right? Or or what was the move the computer was playing here? What was the computer playing? Let me see. Computer played Queen uh Queen D Oh, Queen A Ah 
Uh, so the computer was playing this different. Computer went queen a8 and then a3, queen a4 to get d4. So it was playing this a little bit differently here. That's how it was doing. Okay. Because, yeah, Jan played queen a5, not queen a8. Because queen a8 holds d6 still. So so Jan played a slightly different line. Um, yeah, so king h2, queen f2 takes. King f8, I mean... I mean, also, again, from my personal experience, there's no chance Jan is going to save this. Because Magnus is also a god in queen, queen and pawn endgames too. Fabiano says this is a game between Magnus and 2300. That's a troll, right? Wait, Fabiano said Nep was. Wait, what? Fabiano said Nep was playing like 2300. Wait, are you guys serious? Can somebody clip that? Oh my god, I want to see the clip of that. Wow, is my game internet between Magnus and it could be between you know a 2300? I know that sounds super harsh. <laughs> Um, but not a player who's 2,800 like We're on camera, but the way you looked at me, but thank you for saying 2,300, because that, that means I would have played better than this. Well, the thing about it is we're harsh because we know what Jan is capable of. You right. just said so, that at Jan's oh, best, no. he can fight toe-to-toe -to -toe on even terms with Magnus Carlsen. Yep. And yesterday, I predicted Jan Napomashi to bounce back and win, and yet I was the one who was being really hard on him. And it's not because oh, you know, he's no. a bad player. Of course, he is playing the highest stage of chess. The, 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 I mean, this is, this, that's, Bobby, that's Bobby Hess. And yeah, Bobby Hess is totally in damage mode, though. Bobby Hess is totally in damage mode trying to, like, trying to salvage it. That is so brutal. That is so, so brutal. Jeez. No, I mean, it's, it's just brutal. I, I mean, obviously, every, I mean, it's, it's very difficult. But I would say that what happened is that Jan, I, I would call it voodoo again. I don't know how Magnus did this, but somehow he knew. When he went queen e1, he knew that Jan, after playing h5, wanted to play for an attack and did not want to make a draw. I just, I don't know how he did it, but he did. Um, yeah. Somehow, somehow it's just he, he voodooed him. Somehow he just voodooed him. Um, where, where, like, where, where Jan just was unwilling to take a draw because he played h5, and so he, he somehow Magnus knew that Jan was not going to go queen e7. And I mean, I don't really know how to explain it, but yeah, it's just like. Yeah, Nepo just uh, somehow Nepo after playing H5, he just wanted a really aggressive game. That, that's that's why it happened. Chess.com removed the clip. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, but I mean, we watch on our streams. So the clip does exist. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, the clip exists in in eternity because we we watch it on our stream. Um. So I mean, but but, but man, just so brutal, so brutal. Yeah, you can clip Hikari. Yeah, you guys can just clip my, my me what me react to it. But man, wow. Yeah. No, I mean, I, I, I mean, yeah. Like, uh, it's, it's just what it is. It's what it is. Yeah. Anyway, um, I mean, yeah. Unfortunately, this, this is gonna be it. Oh, it's, it still exists. Okay, still exists. Fair enough. I mean, D5 and Resignation... Well, I guess... Why is D5 winning? Yeah. Oh, because... Oh, geez. You can just run the juicer up the board, and, like, all the dark squares are going to be covered uh, from one of these squares. Yeah, I mean, this is this is going to be winning. So, yeah. They said Nepo is never barely sitting at the board. Feels like he doesn't want to be there. It's a bad sign. Yeah, I, th I think Nepo at this point is just disgusted. I mean, like I said, somehow after Queenie won, Magnus was ready to make the draw, and Nepo was just like, no, I got to try. I played H5. I can't make a draw with Queenie 7 and Nepo lost his patience. I mean, I guess you could kind of say that's what happened in the other game they lost. He just, Nepo just lost his patience. Magnus played the meta, and he knew that eventually Jan would sort of, um, Jan would not be able to stay patient. That's that's my best guess um, in terms of what happened. So, yeah, it's, it's what it is. It's it's tough though. It's tough, and obviously, to be fair, like I mean, Jan has played a great match. I think he just he lost his patience a couple of critical moments. Um, I mean, the the other game, I actually liked his decision. I, I thought overall what he did in that game, he lost. I objectively liked it, but this this game definitely to not play Queen E seven to lose complete objectivity and not just make the draw with Queen E seven, um, is I just don't understand it. I I, I just don't understand it. Um, that's what I would say. Then why play the Petrov? Well, I mean, that's kind of the thing. That's the problem. Is like, if Jan wanted to be solid, be solid and make the draw. Because, I mean, if he wants really dynamic play from the get-go, he should play something else, like a, some kind of Sicilian or something. Um, 
but but yeah magnus and yon gets tilted easily in a podcast i mean magnus clearly he he i mean clearly he he, he understands nepo quite well that's that's what i would say um but yeah no, I mean, of course, Jan is exhausted as well. I mean, not, you know, like I said, like it's easy for us at home to be like overly critical, but I this one is just some this this Queen Seven move is just quite inexcusable because you play a Petrov and expecting. I mean, really, I, I, the only thing I think is maybe Jan lost objectivity and he thought that he could. He thought he was completely fine. He could play for more without realizing there was actually danger. That's the only rational explanation that I have, um, for for what has happened. Yeah. And also, by the way, beautiful technique from Magnus, because if Black takes the pawn, you just go check and collect the pawn. I mean, there are many ways to win, but essentially the way White's going to win is that there's only this this one pawn supporting this check, and you're just going to zigzag and uh, and win the game with these two pawns. I mean, this is this is basically over. Uh, I, could I win the current position against the computer? I'm pretty sure I could. Let me set the position back up. It's... um. It's not this position. What was the position? So computer played queen a8. Let's the queen a5 was played. Check here. Takes takes. King h7. Queen e4. Oh wait, no. So it's this position, and then I'm gonna play b3. And okay, so computer plays queen a2. All right. So you guys should still see. So of course I'm not gonna use the computer, but I think I would win this. So check takes. Okay. So now there should be some way to activate the queen. Uh, is it queen d3 and d5 or queen f5? Queen h5 and queen h4 is almost certainly winning. Um, but there are tricks, maybe. Hmm, let me think. Queen h5, queen h4 does look good. I think I, I think I think I just check and take the pawn. That's my guess and take. I mean, it should just be winning. I go. I just have to put the queen on e5 and win the game somehow. So let's go. I guess let's go check. I mean, I can always tickle, tickle, but I'm just going to go here to go queen e5. Okay, queen b2 is good. Now I will check. Maybe I create looked with h4 and g3 here. Let's go h4. So I have h5, I have g3 again. Go here. Let's go here. Okay, now I can push the pawn and go queen f4. I also have queen e8, queen e5. I just need to get this pawn rolling. I think d5 is one of the easier ways to win here. Okay, now I have d6 here, which is also winning. Magnus is gaining points from this win. Yes, he, after this win, he is. So I think queen f3 is good. I just have to be careful about queen h1. That's the only trick here. Um, d6, queen d1. Still tricky. Um, Jan looks broken, yeah. I mean, I, I feel really bad for Jan, obviously. Very, very, very tough situation to be in, certainly. Um, D6 here. D6 is obviously a move. Um, there's also Queen D3 and King G4, maybe, because you cover... I, actually, I think this is cleanest. Because you cover... There are no checks here. So I cover all the checks, and now it's bye-bye it's birdie. This has to be... Wait, D6 is Queen, queen A4. D6, Queen A4, King, King H3, Queen D7. I mean, this this must be winning. I mean, you just go G4. Okay, now the King is stuck here. Let's go here. I think H5 is winning now. Let's go H5. Uh, it finds Queen A7. Okay, that's just a blunder. This is just GG now. Wait. I can take the pawn. I can wait. This must be just winning. Uh, if I take the pawn, he goes king e5. I think. Go. Just need to be careful. There's one last trick here, uh, which is a problem. Um. Queen d3, queen h1, king h4. Ah, okay. Yeah, I go here. I go here, and now I have queen h3, queen g3, which must be winning. So here. Okay, queen d2. Let's see, I can check on g3. I actually feel like it maybe I've misplayed. Let's go check. I have d7, king c6. I mean, it's still very hard to win this. I think g5 is winning, though. Okay. 
Yeah, queen f3. I have d7 here. Still, still should be winning somehow. Moves are played. Yeah, you guys can see the moves on the small board. Um, I mean, g5. I mean, I don't know if this is actually cleanest, but this must be winning. Um, go here. Okay, he's trying to go queen f1, but this check doesn't do anything. So I think I keep just rolling the juicers probably like here. So I have queen g2. Okay, I have queen f3 and g7 maybe. Wait, this just wins, right? Yeah, this just wins. I have g... Oh, queen here, and then I block. Okay, I mean, there are too many pawns rolling here. I mean, this has to be winning. But I, again, it's a 3200 computer, so I don't want to blow it. Uh, queen g4 probably works. Queen g4 and king... Eight, queen g4 actually just, just wins, no? Okay, and now I think I will just... Okay, so now the only trick is that... Dodge the checks. Um, how do I win? I guess just h6. Okay, now this must be an easy win. I just need I don't want to mess it up. So queen d4, queen d8 is an issue. I guess I'll just go. Hmm. Okay, let's go here and I have h7. Yes. Check, and there we go, and we, we win the game. Make the queen. checkmate all right there we go there's the checkmate okay so yeah again we do win against the computer here um so yeah let's go back to the game let's see what's happening here um oh wait let's go back to the game okay so we have this position after queen up two so it's, it's not too different from what we just did um thank you to bandrea otez for the 1050 bits thank you to green marmalade for the 11 thank you to packers green for the three henry john for the six banana pia for the four sub pro for the three and minkles for the three and virtual na for the eight thank you to darpan for the three thank you to ben hawks for prime for amazon blipper rocket brain surgeon splashy i think you're growing gravity and min the mendo for the prime thank you so much you guys so yeah yeah i mean magnus is gonna magnus is gonna win this game pretty soon um yeah this is pretty much over um resignation offer soon oh nepo's holding back tears i mean i feel really i feel really bad for Jan. i mean he he's played a great match um as i said in, in hindsight it's always easier just like i mean he should have gone for broke yesterday now that we know what's going to happen today um but you know it's it's, it's tough because I'll, I'll also say this it's like uh, i'll give you a, a sports analogy let me give you a sports analogy so there's a classic sports analogy that when a player pitcher is tired um and the manager comes out to ask how the pitcher is feeling what will the pitcher say and the pitcher will always say, "No, no, no, coach. I'm, I'm good. I can still, I can still, I can still throw. I'm not tired. I got enough energy to get like the next two outs and get out of the inning." Um, and so it's very tough because, like, to put this in chess perspective, I'm sure that Vladimir Potkin and and Nepo's entire team, they're like, they tried to talk to him, see how he's feeling, and Nepo probably is like, "No, no, I'm okay. It's all good. I'm cool. No worries. I, I'm, I'm, I'm sane." Maybe Sane's wrong, but I'm like, I'm all good. I'm not tilted. I can, I can, um, I, I can, like, I'll, I'll be fine. And the problem is, like, internally you say that, but I don't think that's actually true. Like, I suspect Jan wasn't feeling good. And, um, and so it's like you say one thing and then, like, people always believe you. But in, inside, I think Jan, like, he was really just, he wasn't, he wasn't feeling it. And, um, so, and then you give him a grand slam. Exactly. So, I mean, that's the problem. That's, that's really the thing. So it's like, uh, that's the thing. Like, it's just, I mean, I think if, if he had probably said, no, I'm not fine, probably his team would have had him shift the opening. But I'm sure that Jan would like internally, like after that interview with chess.com, after those things, he's like, he's telling himself that he's okay, even though he really wasn't. And, um, and I think, you know, I, it's, it's just, it's a tough spot to be in.